Hey, how's it going? And today we're taking a look at getting animations out of Mixamo and into iClone, specifically taking the Mixamo animations and putting them onto characters in iClone and then taking those characters to Unreal Engine. And I just did a tutorial about how to export from Character Creator to Unreal Engine. And basically for iClone, it's the same exact process. Pretty much the exact same thing. I don't even think there's any steps that are much different. So anyway, the first thing is you got to go into Mixamo and get a character in T-Pose and also get whatever animations that you want. So here I am in iClone. Just go to the window so we're all on the same page and go to standard window and this comes up. It's real easy to import from character creator into iClone. You come over here to file, export, and then just send it to iClone, whatever you're selected on. It's very easy. They're very well connected, those two programs. So someone was complaining that they didn't like the characters in Character Creator. And actually, I think they're very similar to MetaHumans. I, in some cases, I think they look just as good, if not better. So I don't know. To each their own. The reason I like these characters is I think they look pretty good. And they're good enough to tell a story. I mean, look at how many stories are told. Like, look at South Park or Rick and Morty, how they tell entire stories with cheap 2D characters. So it's really about the, the story that you're trying to tell. And, you know, these characters, I, I think, are pretty amazing. But... That's just me. A lot of it has to do with lighting and stuff like that. I mean, you can make these characters look hor horrific if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just, it is what it is. As, as bad as this looks, you can, make, you can make it look better. Enough of that. <laughs> so what we're going to try to do is we're trying to get into iClone here. Okay. So I have this character that I brought from Character Creator into iClone. And then in iClone, I've got the ZXC keys. So that's interesting if you hit C... It, you can bring it this way. Scroll well brings you in. Uh, and I think this is a this looks just the same as a metahuman to me, to be quite honest with you. What we're going to do is we're going to get a Mixamo character. So get one in T-Pose, and then get whichever one you want. And you can bring them in with the skin on. It doesn't matter. You don't have to take the skin off of your Mixamo character. I have to get my window just the right size here. Okay. Because I'm going to click and drag. So I'm going to click and drag. This is my Mixamo FBX. And I just click and drag it onto them where they're in a box, and then I just let go. Now this is going to come up, and you want to go with this character profile. And then it's asking for, do you have a character in T-Pose? And I do. So I think that helps with the, the rigging process. So I'm going to go and get that. That's the same character in T-Pose. I don't know if it makes a difference whether you bring it in an X-Bot or whatever but this is xbot so i tried doing it with the standard default i don't know what they consider that to be but when i did this one with the xbot it didn't it didn't go well so i'm just going to go with this one here and then i think it's helpful to bring in the, the t-pose because then i do think that helps with the retargeting that, that goes on under the hood here so then all we have to do is just go convert all and it's going to be this one that's checked and so proceed. And you'll know soon enough if you if you did it right or wrong. You're, you'll know if it's messed up. And if it is messed up, just come back in and play with one of the settings and see how it goes. And then from here, if I hit play, look, we've got our nice animation. And then you can make it loop. There's things you can do. You can bring this down. Can I drag that? Yeah. Bring it down to a certain point here. I think I have to go in here to do it better, more precisely. Drag it to about there. I plan to be doing some more tutorials on iClone. But let me just go back in. Let me just close that now. And then let me go loop right there and hit play. And there we have our animation. It'd be nice to fix that transition between the last frame and the first frame so it doesn't jump like that, but... That's how you get it in. And like I said, if you want to get it now from here into Unreal Engine, you just follow that same tutorial on Character Creator and make sure to do the smoothing groups. And I will post a link to that tutorial in the description. And now if you want, just to, so you don't have to go through this again, this process, what you can do is let's go ahead and stop this. We can switch our window to the workspace, I mean, to animation. And if we come over here, 
there's a setting over here for it's right here it's called fit to window and if you click on your clip if you right click we can go save motion clip and right click we can click on save motion clip and if we click this this will now save it as a real motion file so I, you can call it whatever you want then you just have it saved and you don't have to do that conversion again and now you can drag this like we did with the Mixamo onto this character we can drag that clip onto any other character we have and then it'll be a nice smooth transition so anyway let me show you real fast how that works so let's go back into the standard let's go ahead and delete her and then I'll go ahead and just drag this guy here right he's kind of a funny funny looking guy so you hit X and zoom in a little bit yeah so he's a cartoon character to the max so here we've got this MMA2 that we just brought out we just rendered out the motion clip and then all I have to do is just drag it on here but then it's just a straightforward conversion there's nothing else I have to do and if I go to the beginning and I hit play he's got the groove now too. So anyway, take care and I will talk to you next time.